Um, indeed, the conference has come to a close after two days of deliberations with approximately 15 countries present, those directly affected and involved in this uh, illegal transnational organized crime situation. Um, we are very pleased that there was a high level of attendance at the political level with several ministers present from the Caribbean, from South America, but also from countries which have been supportive in helping countries like ours to overcome these transnational organized crime consequences like the Netherlands, the United States, Canada, but also the UK, uh, France, uh, Spain, and the European Union. And then we had also supporting this process for a long time already is the UNODC, that's the United Nations uh, organization that deals with drugs and drug control, but also the Organization of American States and IMPACTS, that's the CARICOM security institution. So as the host, we are satisfied with not only the attendance, but also the discussions. All the participants had the opportunity to make the presentations to basically inform us about what is the situation in terms of security in their own country, what specific challenges they face, the, the manner in which some of them have been able to overcome some of those challenges and the problems. Sometimes it's technical, sometimes it's personnel, sometimes it's simply not having enough information, not having enough cooperation among each other. And then finance is a critical issue to build capacity. So all these issues were discussed, not only in the plenary, but also in specific working groups that dealt with migration and border issues as a separate issue. Then the issue about drug trafficking, illegal uh, import of firearms, but also the issue of terrorism financing, illegal flows of capital. And then the last one is a much more modern issue, but a major threat to our livelihood, our, our uh, societies is cybersecurity and cybercrime. And most of our countries are not ready to take on that battle if they are attacked, if they are breached in terms of their security, especially when it comes to critical infrastructure. So it was the first time, certainly after many, many years that security officials at the operational level also met with each other. So one of the advantages is when you do these things face to face is that they could talk to each other and make arrangements for support. And, and now they, knew, they know the people, so networking was a key element of this. What we have agreed is that this conference will take place every two years. So the next one will be in 2024. And then every year there will be in between when we don't have a face to face, there will be a virtual conference. And that means that every single year this group will meet, at least exchange information, share best practices, but most importantly, work towards uh, fighting transnational organized crime in a way that we can at least create some more peace and prosperity in this region. So I want to thank all participants. I want to thank all the countries for being ready to support this initiative. It's a Sudanese initiative. It's not called by the United States or the Canadians or the European Union uh, based on their concerns and their own interests. This is called by a, a country that is part of this own region. And that was something which was very much appreciated by all.